Previously on Tim and Eric Quiz. Sixth course, Leland Heflin versus Carrie Van Auken. Easy cream. Carrie Van Auken. Advance, Sarah Podwall versus Cooper Foster. <laughs> Sarah Podwall. Advanced third course, Vicky Joe Constanza versus Handsome Grand. Vicky Advanced. Tonight, Tim and Eric fans will go head to head. Who will win and who will be humiliated before their peers? Welcome to my human zoo. I've collected a quite a number of oddities. We, we must, must be punished. <laughs> Pencils down, that's all the time. Students will compete head-to-head -head in a bracket-style elimination, answering questions related to all the Tim and Eric shows. Whoever passes the final exams will win our grand prize, a lunch with David Liebrecht at a restaurant of his choosing. And at any point, a player can ask master impressionist James Qual for help. Wilfred Hyde White, you're watching Tim and Eric Quiz. Are you ready, class? Please welcome Carrie Van Auken. Well, Carrie, you have made it all the way to course 16. How does it feel? Happy to be here, divorced. Well, for this course, we're going to be doing things a little different. Computer, please bring out Tim and Eric scholar, Drake Wu. So Drake, my producers tell me that you have written many academic papers about Tim and Eric. Tell me more. Uh, I went to school. I graduated in three years. I wrote many papers, some of the best of my class. And some of the best that I wrote were about Tim and Eric. I fancy myself a bit of a Tim and Eric scholar. Uh, this is a bit of a tease from one of my Tim and Eric essays. Following in the tradition of silent film stars such as Tati, Keaton, and Chaplin, Tim and Eric maintain the same character throughout much of their work. The characters are a constant, but the situations vary. Their mise en scène is a complex symphony, symphony <clears throat> of special effects, editing, camera moves, costumes, hair and makeup, all working in tandem to the unsettling performances. Tim and Eric have made an indelible mark on film form in the internet age and remain at the forefront of modern comedy directors. On that paper, I received an A minus. So, Carrie, you will be going head to head with Drake in our Tim and Eric Masterclass. Masterclass. Each of you will be asked a Tim and Eric question, and you will be judged on how eloquently you can speak about Tim and Eric and the academic parallels you can make between their work and classic literature. Ready? Let's play! So Carrie, in her 1964 essay, Notes on Camp, Susan Sontag makes the distinction between camp and kitsch. Describe in your own words how Tim and Eric have blurred the lines between camp and kitsch. Um, they have taken their kitschy ways they have with using their references to their, their pep peps and to handmade goods and crafts takes us to the kitschy sort of thing, whereas the camp, where it's something you would consume, um, it's like, well, them consuming lots of things and then throwing them up. 
Do we have more time? Four more minutes. Four more minutes. Well, what got me thinking a lot about their kitschiness is how much crochet they end up using in their sketches. They are very, very kitschy people. They're also very campy people. Again, that line is blurred. That line is blurred a lot. Um, Needle pointing. Uh, you know, Jan and Wayne Schuyler. The Cinco products. Meant to gross us out. And, um, well. Time's up. You receive a C minus. Drake, many have described anti-comedy as a form of Dadaism. In your own words, reflect on how Tim Heidendecker, Eric Warnheim, and their contemporaries have employed the techniques of Hugo Ball's Dada Manifesto. Well, if, if we're gonna talk about Dada, I think we've gotta go back to Russian literature of the early 20th century. Drake. You receive one million points. <laughs> After much deliberation, I have determined that Drake, you have passed the Tim and Eric Masterclass. And Carrie, I am sorry, but you are unable to speak eloquently about the cutting edge comedy of Tim and Eric and have been eliminated. Any final words? Sorry, I let them down. Let's take a recess break. Recess is over. Please welcome Sarah Podwall and Vicky Joe Constanza to the stage. Time for a spotlight on Vicky. My name is Vicki Jo Costanzo, and I am a serious human being. I have two cats, and we all sleep together. Vito Antonio Costanzo III is my male cat. He was named after my grandfather, whose name was Vito Antonio Petretti. And I was very lucky that before he passed away, I called him to tell him that I had named my cat after him. He laughed. He thought that was very funny, and I thought it was a compliment. My other cat is Mona Lisa the First. Mona Lisa the First is the queen, and anytime someone in law enforcement happens to come into our home, the law enforcement actually gives Mona Lisa the strictest respect possible. I ate with my friend one time a complete tin of chocolate chip cookies after smoking illegal marijuana. So I prefer just getting a straight shot of tequila and passing out. Well, we are excited to have you. 17th course. Course 17 is our freaky fan fat quiz. <laughs> Questions only a fan with an unhealthy obsession. Due to the difficulty level of these questions, you will be judged on who answers the closest and with the most conviction. What is the exact weight of the Cinco Boy? Sarah, you go first. It's probably a pound? It's probably not. Vicky. 325 pounds. That is correct. Uh-oh. What's that? It's time for another pop quiz. Computer, please resurrect an eliminated contestant. Initiating random resurrection. Ooh. 
Bahar, Chris Dimmy, 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 Bahar, Chris Dimmy. Chris Dimmy, I have come to resurrect the soul of my one true love. Please welcome Handsome Grant to the stage. Cinco boy full life. When you know the answer, ring your bell and say this limerick. Mimi, I can be the number one fan of T and E. Here is your pop quiz question. What are Tim and Eric trying to give Jim Booney for free? Me, me, I can be the number one fan of T and E. Real estate. That is correct. Congratulations, Vicky. Grant has died again. You have passed this course. Wow, another exciting lesson in our curriculum. Enjoy your research, students. I'll see you next week. Absolutely. <laughs>